Alright, so what's going on guys? Uh, what we're going to end up doing is, whoa, why are we in the numbers class? Let's go back to our main class. Again, mine is the 40 series activity for some reason. Whatever your main class is, jump back over to there. And we have our on-click listener set up, so let's set up a quick switch in case. Um, so switch, and for key, we're going to say v.getID um, case if that ID is r.id.button1. We know we are looking for, what was it, our width. Okay, and we're going to copy this case because we need another one for our button two. And this will be for our height. And lastly, one last case we're going to paste for button three, which is going to be our uh, calculate button. All right, so now that we have our switching case set up, what do we need to have happen? Well, what we're going to do is if button one or two is pressed, we're going to open up our other activity. So let's set up a new intent within our switching case that's going to be called. So we're going to have intent i is equal to new intent. And again, if you guys are confused, if you're like, what the heck is an intent? Make sure you check out my last series because I go into more depth. In this tutorial, we're learning more about sharing data and sending data through bundles and packages and and all that stuff. So again, for this intent, we're going to refer to the context of our class, which is this, and then the class that we want to open, which was called numbers.class. All right. And there we go. We have our intent set up called I. Everyone within the switch can use that intent. Whoa, why did I do it there? Sorry, we're supposed to actually move this up above our, our switch. My bad. And so we're going to paste it above our switch. So we set up a, a variable called i. That is our intent. That's what we're opening, our numbers class. So if button 1 or 2 is pressed, we're going to actually open up that intent. But what we want to have happen is we're going to say, hey, we're opening up this tent for a specific result. We're trying to get some information from this intent that we're opening up. So how we're going to do that is we're going to go within button 1, and we are just going to say our intent variable that we set up we're going to put extra information in there. And the extra information that we're going to put in is for uh, this first one is going to be just some sort of classification. So we're just going to say numbers. It can be anything you want, but we're going to look for certain numbers. And the value of the number that we're looking for is our width. Whoops. OK, these again can be any type of values you want. But uh, you kind of want to have them organized so when we work within our numbers class, we're going to be like, okay, we're going to return this value as the width. But all we're doing is we're putting extra information into our intent before we open it. So that's, inf um, that's pretty much all you have to realize is we're putting extra information into the intent called numbers and width is the specific thing that we're looking for. And now that we've set up our intent and we've put in the extra information that we're looking for, we're going to say start activity. And instead of saying just start activity like you guys are probably familiar with with the last series, we're going to say start activity for result. And as you can see, it takes an intent and also a request code. So the intent that we're opening is going to be the intent that we just set up called I. And the request code, we're going to say 1. And basically, that's just a, uh, if you hover over here, request code. And if you scroll down, you can see right here, request code. If it's greater than 1, this code will be returned on the activity result when the activity exits. It's talking about the numbers class when that activity closes or when we exit out of that activity. It's going to pass us some information back if our result code is greater than 1 or greater than 0. So that's why we set it equal to 1. So now let's say our button 2 was pressed, which was our height. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this, paste it below, whoops, paste it here. And instead of width, we're just going to say height. Okay. So we kind of remember uh, our variables that we're looking for. So let's save that. And there we go. Uh, now we our buttons will open up that new activity, our numbers.java. So let's go into that class and see how this is going to work. So what we're going to have happen is once they input some information within our edit text and hit the send button, we're going to get that information from the edit text and send it back. So what we're going to do first is we're going to set up a string value called s, and we're just going to refer to our edit text box. So our number dot get text. Um, and then dot to string. Even though it's a number, we're gonna, you know, refer to it as a string in this class. Uh, so there we go. We have our string value set up from our edit text whenever we click the button. So that's pretty cool. 
Next, what we need to do is we need to get the information from the intent that opened this class, opened our numbers class. Because again, this class is only going to be opened when we call the start activity for result. So we need to get the information from the intent that, that uh, started the class. So we're just going to say intent. We're going to call this one I as well. And we're just going to use a method called get intent. So it's going to get the intent that started this class. Then we're going to set up another string variable that's going to be our message. And you'll see that we're going to refer to the I variable, again, of the intent that started this class that we set up here. So we're going to say get string extra. And what it's looking for is our first value that we set up, which was number or numbers. I'm going to have to double check. Um, so we're going to get the extra string information of the intent that's being called to open this class. So it's looking for this right here, this numbers of the put extras that we put into our intent. It's going to see if it can grab this data, this numbers right here. And let's go back to our numbers class. Again, I know I'm kind of moving fast, so this is supposed to be message. All right, so uh, there we go. We have that set up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say if, we're going to create an if statement for both cases. So we're going to say if our message, and we're going to compare it to, like if it said width, you know, uh, you can't compare strings with an equal sign or a double equal sign like you would numbers. You have to use a string method called continent equals or content equals whatever. Um, and then we're going to refer to the width variable because again, back in our main activity, we had a width variable and a height variable. So that's what we're comparing for now. If that message contained the width value for that, uh, for numbers, then we're going to do this. Else, we're going to do the height. Okay, hopefully that kind of makes sense. You, if you had more than just two intents being able to open up this numbers class, you'd probably want to have multiple if statements and refer to each of your values. So height, width, uh, width, uh, whatever else. Oops, and I'm missing a parentheses here. All right, so again, we're kind of running low on time. But uh, so I'll just kind of review everything that we've done so far in this tutorial. Uh, I know it's kind of confusing. Make sure you watch the next one because it's not going to work out if you don't. So um, let's go back into this main activity here. We set up some buttons. Those buttons are going to open up our numbers class and we're going to give it some extra information. We're going to say, hey, we're passing on a message called numbers and numbers can either be width or numbers can either be height depending on which button was pressed. So if button two is pressed, it's going to pass on some extra information within with the intent, uh, which is our numbers class. And the information it's passing on is something called numbers. And the value of numbers is going to be height. So then our numbers class, hey, we have this button here. It's going to get the information from our edit text. And once, uh, once it does that, it has a button. So once we press the button, it's going to get the information from the edit text as a string. And then it's going to figure out who called this class to open, who said, hey, numbers, I need you, bro. Um, and it's going to be like, OK, let's get that intent. Let's read any messages that might have been passed along. And the specific message we're looking for is numbers. And then it's going to either return the value for us according to whatever that class set up as numbers, uh, numbers to be, whether that be width or whether that be height. Um, so that's all we're doing here is we're checking which button was pressed in the previous class. And we're going to do something if it was the width button or if it was the height button. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, thanks again for watching. Make sure you check out the next tutorial because it's going to be sweet. So, uh, yeah, make sure you do that. And I'll catch you guys later. Uh, so have a good one.